In the early 80s, horror mogul Wes Craven of Last House on the Left and The Hills Have Eyes fame read a newspaper article about a boy who suffered horrible nightmares and eventually died in his sleep. Craven was inspired by the macabre story and went on to create one of the most legendary horror franchises we've seen to date. Led by classic horror monsters, such as Jason from Friday the 13th and Michael Myers of Halloween fame, Freddy Krueger would quickly join the ranks as one of the most infamous and strangely beloved characters of horror. Please keep in mind, this video contains serious spoilers, so if you don't want to spoil a decades-old movie for yourself, mute the video or click away now. New Line Cinema was the studio to pick up Nightmare on Elm Street, after all the other major studios had passed on the film. In the fall of 1984, Nightmare on Elm Street released in theaters and became one of the most lucrative horror franchises of all time. Nightmare on Elm Street grossed $370 million, spawned eight sequels, and launched the career of a young unknown actor, Johnny Depp. The monster of the films, Freddy Krueger, was named after a child in school who bullied Craven and represented a brand of humor and horror that had not yet been represented in film. Freddy was a deranged killer, as we had seen before in other beloved horror movies. But he doesn't lurk silently behind a mask. Instead, Freddy prefers to put himself out in the open to terrify his victims with his hideously scarred face and iconic glove. Freddy is also a shapeshifter, who adores horrifying his victims with his sick jokes and pranks, before eventually finishing them off. Nightmare on Elm Street had a surprisingly low body count for horrors of the time but each of the movie deaths were more vicious and sick than the last. The first death in the movie, Tina, was killed after woohooing with her boyfriend, a classic horror movie trope. Don't have sex? Don't do drugs. Don't drink. And don't say, I'll be right back. Great rules to follow if you're in a horror movie. Also from the mind of Wes Craven. Tina's boyfriend, Rod, was next. Strangled by his own bedsheet while in jail a suspect in Tina's murder. The tension created in the scene by having our titular heroine Nancy witness the event was a masterwork of horror cinema. Nancy meets Freddy throughout the film, but manages to evade him through the apex. The eventual death of Johnny Depp's first screen character, Glenn, was a mixture of absurd and terrifying. The character is sucked into his bed by Kruger, eventually splashing gallons upon gallons of blood through the hole in the bed, covering the entire set. At this point in the movie, Nancy's feeling safe and victorious. until Nancy's own mother is the final person taken by Kruger, as revenge for killing him in the first place.
Freddie was a well-known child murderer, among other things, in the community, and was burned to death by local parents to avenge their children. Once Kruger's revenge motivations are complete, the movie ends ambiguously. Is Nancy free of Freddy? Spoiler alert, the eight sequels don't seem to think so. What is your favorite horror movie? What's your favorite horror movie house or location? Let me know in the comments below and stay tuned for more classic horror themed videos throughout October.